Kurt Espenson, thank you so much for uh, uh, talking with us today. Um, as uh, I, I can imagine, you've had quite an, uh, a difficult and uh, challenging couple of days here, and I appreciate your taking the time to talk with us. Um, I, I'm going to open it to you. Uh, you were kind enough to call me back, and I'd like to hear what's on your mind and what you'd like for people to know about uh, the situation uh, where Mercy for Animals uh, caught, apparently, um, some of your workers uh, committing some abuse of, of uh, cabs. Um, I would like to start by saying that um, I take these accusations very, very seriously, and I am deeply saddened by these things that have happened on my farm where I am responsible. Um, I take full responsibility for what happens on my place. Um, this employee and employees that were involved in this were um, acting in a way that was completely out of um, character for the way we run our business. We're very proud of the kind of business we run. We're actually approved for animal welfare by three different independent groups. We're very, very um, concerned with animal welfare. and. Nothing on that video is um, is in compliance with our written protocols for our employees or um, the way we want to run our business. Um, but those employees are not, all of those employees that are in that video have been fired. Um, we have strict policies for calf care and proper euthanization. We use a 22 long rifle to do that, and um, I'm not exactly sure how these specific employees deviated from that, but it is not the way we run our business. Um, our euthanization is, um, is a rare occurrence on a typical situation. We, we were dealing with some very severe weather that brought this situation on where we had to euthanize calves, but that still is not a, a um, an excuse for what happened. Um, the methods we're using today, every part of that video has been resolved and there's employees been trained to the highest level. Um, we have retrained existing employees and, and trained our new employees to a higher level. We've been aware this video was coming for, for three weeks and uh, it's, um, it is above all disheartening to me because as a manager, I. I did not properly train employees on, on the proper way to take care of a calf in, that was in a debilitated state. And um, But we have done every single thing in our power to make sure that this never, ever happens again. These practices haven't happened for, for a month, and um, it's been resolved. We're fully cooperating with the district attorney in regards to these employees that were abusing the animals. Um, one thing that was mentioned in the video that needs to be clarified is um, it said that we withheld medical care from certain calves and um, the only calves that have medical care, that have treatment with help from are calves that are going to human consumption and um, you are not able to um, give antibiotics to a calf that is going to go to human consumption. And that's, that's the calves that were mentioned that were not um, given, they were given shelter, water, and and nutrients. They were just not given antibiotics. And that that's fully within the, the, the veterinarian protocol for those calves. But ultimately, I would state that we are doing everything in our power to, to prevent this from ever, ever happening again. And it is my most sincere, heartfelt um, desire to make sure that, that um, I represent my industry and, 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 and make sure that we don't ever let something like this happen again that would be a, a disgrace to it. Mr. Espenson, um, you, you sound visit or audibly shaken. This business is everything in my life. I go to work at four in the morning and work till eight at night. My wife and I started our business with $10,000 and today we have 75 employees five years ago. We love our business.
baby calves that we feed, and we were as appalled as any single person that watched that video. We fed calves through some of the most severe weather in February, right before this video was taken, and we were doing everything in our power to get back on track getting our calves fed, and um, it things were not the way they are typically run at our place, and we're very, very proud. We've been audited three times in the last year by animal welfare groups and got 100% on all three audits of how we treat our calves. And, um, but at the same time, ma'am, I take full responsibility. My employees did that, and, and I can do nothing but try to do a better job going forward to ensure that that never happens again. But those employees were clearly, I have written protocols on how to euthanize a calf, and they deviated from that. And it, we wouldn't have been euthanizing calves if it had been, um, um, it, um, I, it, it's just, it was a lot of things led to me failing, and I, I take full responsibility for it. And that, that's what I want people to know. Um, Mr. Espenson, when you say led to you failing, uh, you, and you mentioned a moment ago that um, you were disheartened that you felt that you you had not uh, properly trained the employees, is is that one of the ways that, that uh, you feel this could have been avoided? Very much so. Here, here's, to be candid, we were struggling because of some weather, okay, some extreme weather and we were working very, very hard on getting our animals fed and, and, and cared for, okay? I allowed a person that was untrained to do a task that they weren't trained to do. The people in the video were new hires that had not gone through our animal welfare video. Every person that was in that video had worked here for a very, very short time, and they were not up to the standard of employees that we have. And, and But that's why I say it's my responsibility. I had not done due diligence to train those employees on how we run our business. So I guess there were, you, you mentioned that there had been some pretty severe weather and, and things just kind of got away from you while trying to deal with what sounds like were kind of emergency situations. Um, did, did, was, is that a fair way to, to care? Uh, but in addition to that, I don't want to, to say anything that would imply that I'm not, I'm responsible in an emergency. You, you understand? I see. Okay. And, and um, it doesn't matter what the situation is. I, I am to be held to the highest standard, you know, and, and I um, sincerely regret that I did not, you know, take care of that. The, the the did the weather conditions uh, the or the the uh, severe weather also lead to some of the um, situations that were on the video? For instance, the the, the, the calves that were being euthanized were calves that had been frostbit and their toes were like their foot was was starting to fall off and they were in a a very difficult they're in a miserable situation and. That's why we're euthanizing. We don't euthanize a calf a month at our place. And they have video after video of euthanizing calves in this because they had frostbite and they were um, in a painful situation. I mean, we, we'd, go, we'd go a month and not euthanize a calf. Okay, so, and you're saying euthanize in this case, although, it, it was, of course, in this case, it wasn't really euthanizing. Right, right. And, and that's, but ma'am, I, I don't want you to, you're the only person I, I'm going to be the only person that you talk to in the news today that stands up and takes accountability for what happens. And that needs to be me as I, I'm, I'm accountable for what my guys do. Yes. But what, I, what I'm saying is what, what you're saying is that in a, in a, in under typical situations. It would never have happened under um, a non-emergency situation. And in typical situations, you euthanize quickly with a, with a rifle. He is a manager taking care of that calf that is... In a, that needs to be addressed. I see. Never an employee. I see. Okay. And that's. But we were just trying to get through our get our calves fed. Okay, and then there were some situations on the video with calves who had.
<clears throat> excuse me, wounds and sores and were in um, lying in their own feces, et cetera. Now, was, was that a result of that the... That was a result of the extreme weather. Those, those calves were calves that their toes had frozen, and so they weren't able to stand up. And that's, we had weather that we've never experienced ever. And, um, and that's what led to those calves in that situation, and that's what we were trying to deal with, you know. Okay. Um, so, so you mentioned that there that these were employees who had not gotten a chance, or you had not gotten a chance to to train yet. If you came to work here on a typical time frame, you would have had a bilingual secretary read you an employee manual that covers safety, drug abuse, animal welfare. Um, it and it clearly states in there if you abuse a calf you will be terminated as an employee. And those employees were new and had not been through that training course. Today, every employee we have has been through that training course. Okay, and as you said, you've had a month to, to reconnoiter and... So this was resolved even before we knew the video. You know, it was just, it was weather related, but that, that I can't, that's not an excuse. You, you understand? Um, I, I can hear that you you do want to make it clear that you you are taking responsibility. Um, and I promise you, this has not happened since then, and will not happen again. And then the the um, it, on. I, I'm sorry, I'm struggling with this issue too, as you can hear. I think we were all pretty shocked by watching that video, and and uh, I, I almost know don't know what to ask first, but. But uh, I, a moment ago, you mentioned that you were addressing these issues even before the video um, was released or before you knew about the video. So, so did you find out about these issues on your own, that this sort of behavior was occurring? Uh, we, we did. We found out that, that they had deviated from their, the, the standard pro protocol, and we were um, working on that. Okay, so even before you knew about the video, you you had you became aware that workers were abusing the uh, some of the some of the workers were abusing some of the animals. Right. 